Sean Payton. Now, I'm kind of excited about this topic, and I, I hope that it doesn't take us uh, too terribly long to discuss it. But um, he said over the weekend, I'm trying to pull it up here on my on my phone here, he said that there are only 10 to 11 relevant NFL teams at any given time. This was his exact quote. He said, uh, I say this in all seriousness. He told JoeBucksFan.com, there's only about 10 or 11 relevant teams. When someone like Tom Brady comes to Tampa, it's not just the quarterback position. The thing as a coach in the division that concerns you is you know the standard's going to change. And I think that's a credit to the really, really, really special players. Um, so the Buccaneers, in Peyton's estimation, have moved from the 20 or so irrelevant teams to the 10 or 11 relevant ones. He said, we're watching a month of my man Michael Jordan here, Peyton said, uh, in reference to the Last Dance documentary. He brought up everyone else around him, and I think that same thing will happen with Tom Brady. So, you, we can talk about Tom Brady, all that. We've obviously talked a lot about him on the show already uh, over, over the last few weeks. My question is, who are the 10 or 11 relevant teams in the NFL right now? Uh, obviously, we have to list Tampa right now. Um but who who are the other ones? So and let Chris go ahead and let's let's try and come up with ten or eleven so that I, are actually relevant. This, I believe this is a Bill Parcells thing that he got. He comes from the Bill Parcells coaching tree. Yeah. Okay? And and Parcells used to always talk about how there's eight to ten teams in the league. That's it. That's it that you actually care about a- every and year. The other twenty, yeah. if you beat them, great. If you lose to them, don't beat yourself up. But you're not competing against them because they're not going to be there in January. They're just not. And that's not going to be a tiebreaker. It's not going to swing a fence. It's not going to do any of that. So just move on. And and if you lose to a good team, you got to figure out why you lost to that team. Okay? You don't yeah. necessarily have to figure out why you lost to a bad team. You just move on from that loss and, and try to get better. Good team, you got to figure out why you lost to them because you're going to play them again. All yep. right? Yep. You're right. And these two are in I the got, same division. I got 10 teams, and, and, and I think there are other teams in here. But if you told me – I had to have 10 teams right now that I think are the most relevant, and I stopped it at 10. There's a couple of teams that have potential to be really good that I left off. Hey, Huey, Huey talked about this. Um, he said, uh, first, he said the SEC is the top conference because it doesn't have a salary cap. And then he said a good example of that was Auburn with Cam Newton. Uh, when he played Mississippi State early in the year, both teams were evenly matched. Cam was the difference. He brought that team up, and he was the highest paid player in the NCAA that year. So that year. No, yeah. no doubt, no um, doubt. But that that's that's a great example of of exactly what Tom Brady is doing with Tampa Bay right now. Um, and we haven't seen it on the field yet. Obviously, remains to be seen. But uh, but as far as the ten or eleven relevant teams, so we've got Tampa. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and toss the Saints in there, and that'll give us two. Now, do you, as far as relevant teams, I guess it depends on on what we're what we're saying here. like When, would, when Sean Payton is talking about relevancy, he's talking about a team that can win the Super Bowl. All right, so that doesn't necessarily That's all he mean, cares about. There are only 10, 8 to 10 teams every year that have a chance to win the Super Bowl before it starts off. Yes, we're all 0-0. Zero and zero. Yes, we all got hope. We just drafted our teams and we like our rosters. Yeah. It does not matter. As soon as this thing starts playing football, there are only 8 to 10 teams that really have a chance to win the Super Bowl. Everybody else is playing to be better next year. All right, so let's go ahead and add the Ravens and the Chiefs. Yep. Uh, we'll add the 49ers. Yep, no doubt. So that gives us five at this point. Uh, do we toss in the Packers? I, you can. I would not. I don't think that team's great, but I'm, I'm biased. I mean, they made the NFC that. Championship last year. Okay. So who – do you already have a list of ten right there? Yeah. Go ahead and read them off, and, and we'll, we'll debate it a little bit. So we've got those – I've got okay. the Vikings. Okay, I, I agree I've with got, that one. I've got the I've got the Colts. Uh, basically, mm-hmm. I'm looking at strong foundation from a front office that have been there for a couple of years to lay a foundation of the team. I'm looking for a strong quarterback. I'm looking for a strong head coach. All of these things you have to have. All right. Okay. The Colts. The Colts have a great front office and a really good team ready to go. They were a quarterback away last year. Andrew Luck killed them. Um, I, I like. I think Seattle is one of those teams that that has that. Um, did I say the Vikings? I think the Bills are one of those teams that they're there. I don't trust their quarterback, but I think they're a relevant team. I think it's really hard. I got to eight or nine pretty easily, 
the Bills, I think, is a bit of a stretch. But I like that team personally. I would have them as a relevant team. And then I still would have, if you made me give you 10, I would I would put the Patriots only because Bill Belichick, that people think Tom Brady left and that team's going to suck. That offense sucked all along last year, and they were still really, really good at football. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so if you if you think that that defense, I've said it before, that we all just assume Tom is gone, and so therefore they're going to fall away. That defense could win eight games with you and me at, at quarterback. You put a put a capable, competent person in there. They're I, I would still bet them to win ten games this year, no question. We'll uh we'll we'll get to that because they they released the uh the NFL season win totals, okay. um, and uh, we'll talk about that with our draft recap and whatnot as we go. Um, but yeah, I could well, I could. Who that. would you have that I don't have on here? Um, let's see. I mean, I I would put the Packers on there. Uh, I think the Steelers are relevant every year. Um, I say. It, you had Seattle, right? I had Seattle. Yeah. And I think, uh, I mean, hell, that gets me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I mean, you that's take got the me to Bills ten. and the Patriots off and you add the Packers and the Steelers, that's ten. Yeah, that's that's ten. So that I think that's I think that's what I would do. Um you know, I I don't have the Rams on here. And, yeah, and I don't have either because I don't think If you're going to take the Patriots off, you got to take the Rams off because Jared Stidham is just as good as, as Jared Goff. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's oh. true. Jared Goff's not great at quarterback. They yeah. got an offensive genius for a head coach. Yeah. Uh, and they got a lot of talent on that team, but they're not a very stable organization. So, Michael tossed in uh, the Broncos, uh, but everybody I else. Oh, he said, uh, he said. They're not relevant yet, brother. Yeah, not yet. Uh, he he said Philly. Uh, I think they got, I, some, hell no. they got some stuff to work on. Uh, Huey said the media throws the Cowboys in there every single year. Um, okay, that's the then, media. And I'm then Michael said to. he would toss in the Vikings and the Seahawks. So I have the Vikings and the Seahawks. And then, yeah, like I said, I I gotta have a good I gotta have a good organization that's stable. I gotta have a front office that's stable. I gotta have a head coach and I gotta have a quarterback. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And and that's so so I could get eight really easily from that. But I think those eight are it. I really do. Yeah. I don't think the Steelers are winning the Super Bowl. I don't think the Packers are winning the Super Bowl. I don't My, think the Patriots are winning the Super Bowl. Michael said Rams gambled the franchise and lost. That's it. He's they 100%, 100% right. Yeah. They, they went did. all in. Now they have no draft capital and no cap room. They cannot get better. They can only get worse the next couple of years. Yeah. That's it. Uh, they until, went all until they in have guys, and it bit them. Yeah, until they have guys fall off of those uh, those contracts. Yep. I mean, you got you got no room to move. And you don't have any draft capital. You yeah. can't trade those guys either because the contracts suck. Oh yeah, like because nobody's going to take that. So nope. they went all in. That's that's exactly right, and yeah. they lost. They went all in. Uh, let's go ahead. We are thirty minutes in, so 